Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Did You Know Comics. Now today's video is about Batman. Now back in Batman's first appearance in the early days of his comics, he used to use a lot of guns. He wasn't much of a major crime fighter and really was more of a detective, so when criminals got in his face, he just blew them apart. Now Bob Kane, one of the original creators of Batman, later went on to change this since he didn't feel that a gun-toting Batman was proper. Especially since his parents were killed by guns, so yeah, uh, Batman hates guns, so doesn't use them anymore. And here is one of the first Batman concept art drawings, and my god, it looks stupid. So back in 1954, there was a book called Seduction of the Innocent, written by Dr. Frederick Wertham, a German psychiatrist who believed that violence in comic books and other literature for kids was the ultimate driving force to juvenile delinquency. He also noted that Batman and Robin were a gay couple, but that's ridiculous i mean they can't be gay that's just it's batman and robin that's silly but this rumor of them being gay led a lot of people to believe that this was what caused batman or bruce wayne to become more of a womanizer now hugh hefner is a huge comic book fan he loves all the campy humor and all that stuff that comes with them he also throws a lot of parties and back in the 60s he threw a lot of parties a lot of them involved his models dressing like superheroes and using those classic campy lines like golly gee whiz now at one of his parties a producer from abc broadcasting was there and he loved the positive reactions from a really cheesy batman and robin so he ran to a phone called his bosses and as you know it, it became a hit show, Batman and Robin with Adam West and Burt Ward. The Nolan Batman trilogy is probably the best Batman movie series of all time. That being said, it has had its share of hiccups and strange happenings while filming that I think are noteworthy. Now, while filming in Chicago, a drunk man got into his car and crashed into a park tumbler which he believed to actually be a alien spacecraft. But that's not as weird as how Christian Bale almost was cast as the part of Robin in the Batman and Robin 1997 Joel Schumacher movie. Now while filming the massive fight scene on Wall Street in the Dark Knight Rises movie, Bane, played by Tom Hardy, takes on hordes of cops in a massive brawl, but accidentally takes on some real cops who happen to be patrolling the area that day. Now originally Batman's villains were more animalistic than they are now. Now Catwoman used to wear a very furry cat mask like this one in some of her early appearances and Penguin was based on this penguin mascot for cool cigarettes. Now Gotham City didn't appear in comic books until Detective Comics number 48 in 1940 and before that Batman lived in Metropolis with Superman and even in some other cases he lived in New York. William Dozier, producer of the 1960s Batman show, requested that the comic series add a female character to the Batman franchise since Betty Kane, the former Batwoman, was long gone. The TV show needed a female character and had made this request so that the comics and show could run almost parallel to each other. So Barbara Gordon suited up and became Batgirl and by 1967 she was in both comics and in the TV show as well. Now around this time as well, Alfred was dead in the comics, but upon Dozier's request, was brought back to life by supernatural means and was revealed that the villain Outsider was in fact Alfred in disguise all along. So that's all we have time for today, so if you have a request for a character to be featured in the next episode of Did You Know Comics, please leave it in the comments section below. So like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.